Welcome back to my ch channel um, Thanks for tuning in Before I start this little um, video I'd like you to um, ring the bell, notification bell um, For future videos And um, subscribe and share And like um, all those wonderful things you do for me um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for all my subscribers And my countries that are following um, tonight's little video, I'm going to continue, um, um, hope I can, um, yeah, that's fine, I'm not reading those glasses, um, continue this, um, story that I've been starting off, the only time I get to read is when I do a video, um, I've got plenty of books to read, um, but not enough hours in a day. Um, so I'm going to continue with the spirit of the engineer. It's um, um, setting in Belfast. So the um, the chapter two now is in Belfast, nineteen fourteen. So he says um, the motor rocket came from upstairs of our little home. I started searching for my demand pipe. An argument had been going on, something to do with the destruction of my daughter's painted egg. Until recently, the household Hazel would have calmed the children's squabbles, yet confound the woman she had left us without any notice. I ran my finger over the mantelpiece, twitting at the grey-blue fluff collected around my fingernails and sighed demand in consideration. I muttered to myself before scanning the floor. My pipe had most certainly been in my jacket pocket. I had picked it up in my study. It was the peculiar character of the Crawford family for unlimited see there's some kind of hard words here objects to go to wondering about only to show up the strangest places. William called Elizabeth from the landing. Will you come upstairs right away? Her tone was strange and impatient, scratching on my on my already sensitive nerves. Right away indeed she had been in a sharp mood since a cold and lumpy breakfast which I ought not to have mentioned, yet I was so definitely tired myself, the pressure of the day having met me like a um, dormish, unusual word, I'm going to look these up, and a friend in the grim hours of twisty but promising dawn. I took a long breath, and considered my wife's own predicament, three children to raise a house, to keep food, to cook, and a disappointment for her husband. She had grown bitterly since Hazel's departure. Mm -hmm. um, dark cushions gathering beneath her eyes. I crouched down searching under the um, armchair, blindly winning my fingers over the carpet. She was supposed to be preparing for our guest, sweeping, dusting, tidying yet Between the children and her efforts with the sandwiches, she had completely lost control of the time. <sighs> I notice. I closed my eyes, then headed for the stairs, winning myself to keep my temper. Coming, my lord. Standing at the nursery door, I surveyed, surveyed the evidence pulling at my moustache. Well then, what's the matter, Elizabeth? I'm very busy. Oh, there you are, she said, looking. Look at what he did. Honestly, I searched for the boy, admitted the ruby of the rumble of abandoned toys, and gave my best impression. And concern, Father. Has he turned transparent as well as obstinate? Oh, do be quiet, William said Elizabeth, rubbing her hands together in a fit. I have 
to have not done anything to prepare not a thing and where have you been? I bounced on my heels, staying my, my tongue. Where had I been? In my study, that's where, working on my textbook and troubling over bills, not to mention wiping dust from the parlour man mantelpiece. Margaret, my eldest, was in the corner with her hands on her hips, concerned and practical. She was... She was with her hands on her hips, concerned and practical. She was very much like her father, sharing my dark curls and clever eyes while young Helen, at seven, could not have been more like her mother. <laughs> Slightly vengeful and cursed with inc incredible weakness for the dramatic. She wanted me half hidden behind a little skirt my f wife scratched at her wrist. William, please take a strong hand with Robert. He's such a ritual thing, you two soft with him. I chewed my cheek, looking around the room, mint green, covered in childless paintings, with building bricks and man manicure cooking implants, tin, motor cars and horse grooms about the unswept floor. <coughs> the the um the uh, the um deception and body of doll lay beside the fireplace. Her skirt walked above the waist and wrinkled my nose. <laughs> Elizabeth I said um, uh, Elizabeth I said I realised the household is missing a maid. Mm. But those, these toys won't tidy themselves. She gave me a look, which I closed to ignore, turning to Margaret as I f refilled through in my pockets, yearning for tobacco. Child, have you seen your father's pipe? No, father. She said, tapping the headless doll with her toe. I no nodded, and I suppose this is the Robert's victim, isn't it? No, oh, no, father, the dolly lost her head last week. I glanced at Elizabeth. She said, the only one. William, I'm doing my best, Elizabeth replied, turning on me. With an unmistakable expression of someone about to succumb to their feelings, but little Robert has managed to outdo himself this time. And I specifically asked you to watch him for me. I was watching from the study, dearest. You were doing no such thing. You were scribbling away in your book. I chewed at my tongue, searching the nursery, looking for the clues yet found no evidence of disorder until Margaret did sigh to relieve an act of vandalism. Four portrait eggs sneered in a zigzag pattern across the wall. I scratched my nose as Jack the Ripper been making an omelette. Oh, don't be funny, please, Ch chilled Elizabeth mentioning at her sleeves. No, father, it, it isn't laughing matter at all. I agreed, Margaret. Helen spent hours painting those eggs, and they were very splendid, weren't they, Helen? Mm. Helen made to an answer, but threw herself against Elizabeth's skirt with a, a wall. The yep. opportunity for the melodrama or to tempting. I mean, usual words, I like to write them out and lock them up. Should be in a dictionary somewhere. Anyway, all too tempting. Oh, shh, I said, rubbing my temple. The chickens haven't stopped laying, have they? You can paint me one now. Tell me where is the little crook. Okay. So Margaret pointed to the door from where they came. 
a swift sniffling, muttering sound, followed by the scuffling of a tiny shoe. Dear, oh dear, I said to Margaret, with a wink. Where is Robert? Has he gone to the races? Margaret grinned, no father. Has he gone to the House of Parliament, perhaps? Well, I shall end it there. And um, I will continue um, on Friday night, next instalment. So I'll keep you. I'll keep you guessing what happened to them. So if you like this little video, please like and share. Bye. <laughs>